Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about the electric powertrain systems for light commercial vehicles. When we talk about light commercial vehicles, we're referring to a broad category, including mini, midsize, and large vans, micro, small, and light duty trucks, pickups, and more. These vehicles play a vital role in industries like urban logistics, last mile delivery, and utility services, making electrification a game changer for efficiency and sustainability. When it comes to electrifying light commercial vehicles, there are three main powertrain architectures, central drive, centralized electric drive axle, and distributed electric drive. The best choice depends on factors like vehicle design, power demands, and efficiency goals. In this video, we'll break down the advantages and trade-offs of each system, helping you understand which setup is best suited for different applications. Let's start with central drive. For light commercial vehicles, this system can be further divided into three configurations. Direct drive. The motor power is transmitted directly through the drive shaft to the rear axle, propelling the vehicle. Motor integrated with transmission or reducer. The motor power is first adjusted by a reducer or transmission before being transmitted to the rear axle. For traditional fuel-powered commercial vehicles, this is the easiest electrification solution. The existing drive shaft, rear axle, and suspension system can be retained, requiring minimal modifications to the chassis. This makes it the simplest and most cost-effective conversion for transitioning from internal combustion engines to electric power, with lower R&D investment compared to other e-powertrain solutions. In central drive, the direct drive is an electrification solution derived from internal combustion engine vehicle conversions. It replaces the traditional engine with an electric motor while retaining the drive shaft based power transmission system. This setup is compatible with both single stage reduction rear axles and conventional low floor rear axles, allowing seamless integration into existing vehicle platforms with minimal modifications to the chassis, axles, or differential. Right now, it's one of the most widely used solutions because it's technically mature and easy to implement. But despite its popularity, it comes with some serious limitations in efficiency, weight, and cost. The three biggest challenges of central direct drive, one, efficiency. Can it get any better? The powertrain is the biggest energy consumer in an EV. So improving efficiency is key to extending range and reducing battery costs. Studies show that even a 1% increase in transmission efficiency can reduce total energy consumption by 2.5%. But here's the problem. Modern motors and controllers can already achieve up to 95% efficiency, leaving little room for further optimization. So while direct drive is simple, it doesn't necessarily make the best use of energy. 2. Weight. The hidden cost of direct drive weight is a huge factor in EV efficiency. The heavier the vehicle, the more energy it consumes. And in a direct drive system, motor weight is directly linked to torque output. Since high torque requires a bigger, heavier motor, reducing weight in a direct drive setup is extremely difficult. Unlike other solutions that use gearing to amplify torque, direct drive has to rely entirely on raw motor power, which adds extra weight to the vehicle. 3. Cost. Why direct drive isn't getting cheaper for EVs to compete with fuel-powered vehicles, powertrain costs need to come down. But for commercial EVs, Motor cost is almost directly proportional to torque output. Higher torque means a higher price tag. Since direct drive requires motors to operate under high torque for extended periods, cost reduction remains difficult. As motor technology improves, higher speed motors are becoming the new standard. By increasing motor speed, torque requirements can be reduced, leading to lighter and cheaper motors. This trend is already happening in passenger EVs and is starting to take off in commercial vehicles as well. But here's where it gets tricky. Traditional rear axles aren't designed to handle high-speed motors. Increasing the gear ratio in a standard rear differential causes some major problems. As motor speeds increase, conventional rear axles become less effective at providing torque multiplication through reduction gearing. The challenges are as follows. If the strength of the drive pinion in the main reducer remains unchanged, increasing the gear reduction ratio requires enlarging the diameter of the ring gear. This leads to reduced ground clearance and poorer off-road capability. More critically, it results in a larger and heavier main reducer, which is counterproductive. If the ring gear diameter remains the same, the drive pinion must have fewer teeth to achieve a higher reduction ratio. However, this reduces gear strength, 
making it more prone to wear and failure. This fundamental conflict means that higher motor speeds and direct drive configurations are inherently at odds, making it difficult to optimize both efficiency and durability in a direct drive system. So if we want to take advantage of high-speed motors, we need a different approach. The alternative, motor with reducer or multi-speed transmission. By integrating the electric motor with a reducer or transmission, several benefits can be achieved. Shared cooling circuits, shorter cable lengths, and the elimination of some connection components like cooling pipes and cables. This further reduces the overall system size, weight, and cost. This setup offers better climbing ability, lower weight, and reduced costs, with the advantages of lightweight design and cost savings becoming even more apparent in larger vehicles. The motor power is transmitted through the reducer before driving the rear axle, propelling the vehicle forward. High-speed motors are typically used to expand the efficiency range. However, due to efficiency losses in the reducer, energy consumption is not necessarily better than direct drive. Additionally, torque output is affected by high-speed operation with a current maximum of 3,000 newton meters. For the motor, with multi-speed transmission solution, the motor power is transmitted through a multi-speed gearbox before driving the rear axle. By shifting gears to adjust the motor's operating point, energy efficiency can be improved in certain driving conditions compared to direct drive. Torque is further amplified through the transmission, reaching a maximum output of 30,000 newton meters, making it suitable for a wide range of commercial vehicles. The use of reducers or transmissions allows the drive system to handle more complex operating conditions, improve performance in areas like climbing, and ensure the motor operates at peak efficiency for longer periods. At the same time, it enables smaller motor sizes and reduced overall system weight. Of course, central drive systems also come with some clear drawbacks. This setup is complex in structure, takes up more chassis space, and has lower transmission efficiency. Since the drive shaft is retained, it also limits battery placement, typically requiring batteries to be mounted on either side of the chassis. This can affect battery capacity and overall vehicle range. Integrated electric drive axle solutions. The centralized electric drive axle integrates the motor directly into the drive axle, eliminating the need for a traditional drive shaft. Based on motor placement, it can be categorized into parallel axis, coaxial, and independent suspension electric drive axles. Among these, the parallel axis electric drive axle features a motor positioned parallel to the drive axle, often in an offset configuration. This design offers low installation costs, high transmission efficiency, and a high speed ratio, utilizing cylindrical gear transmission to enhance power density. Its compact structure optimizes battery pack placement, making it well-suited for commercial applications. Additionally, the axle housing, wheel end components, and braking system leverage the proven structure of traditional fuel vehicle axles, ensuring high reliability and excellent load bearing and overload capabilities. However, the increased unsprung weight and offset motor placement may negatively impact vehicle handling and ride comfort. The coaxial electric drive axle features a motor aligned with the drive axle, eliminating components like the drive shaft and suspension brackets. This design reduces weight by over 30% compared to a parallel axis axle, lowers installation costs, and improves transmission efficiency. Its compact and space-saving structure makes it an attractive option, particularly for electric pickup trucks. However, since the motor is bolted directly to the half shafts, it is less suitable for heavy-duty applications and is best suited for vehicles under 4.5 tons. The independent suspension electric drive axle integrates the motor and reducer into the vehicle frame, minimizing space usage and allowing for flexible battery pack placement. This design effectively reduces unsprung mass, improving ride comfort and handling stability. However, due to technical constraints of independent suspension systems, this configuration is best suited for vehicles under 4.5 tons and comes with higher costs. Light commercial vehicles have already begun adopting integrated electric drive axles on a commercial scale. This integrated design frees up additional chassis space for the battery system, enabling the battery pack to be centrally positioned within the frame. As a result, overall vehicle weight is reduced and transmission efficiency is improved. Compared to the traditional dual side battery arrangement, a single-pack integrated battery offers higher energy density 
fewer high voltage harnesses and connectors, and lower weight and cost. With the battery centrally located, ground clearance increases, enhancing vehicle passability. This also preserves ample space on both sides of the frame for toolboxes or future modifications. Additionally, in the event of a side collision, the frame's side beams provide added protection for the battery, improving overall safety. Here's a quick tip when picking an electric light truck. First, don't get too caught up in peak power and torque. Those numbers just show what the motor can do for a short time, not what it delivers all the time. What really matters are rated power and torque, since those give you a better idea of the truck's real-world performance. Second, don't compare an EV directly to a diesel truck, especially when it comes to torque. Since EVs don't have traditional gearboxes, they work totally differently. Take this light truck as an example. Its rated power is 88 horsepower, and rated torque is 150 newton meter. On paper, that might look lower than a diesel, but at the wheels, it actually puts out 2,550 newton meter of torque, way more than a similar diesel light truck. Distributed drive technology mainly includes wheel end electric drive axles and hub motor drive axles. Wheel end electric drive axle integrates the motor, reducer, and drive axle, freeing up more space under the floor and eliminating the need for a drive shaft, which is beneficial for vehicle layout. It shortens the drive chain and eliminates the differential, improving transmission efficiency. However, electronic differential technology is complex, and if not well matched, it can lead to excessive tire wear. This system is generally suitable for buses or tractors, with high speed requirements and low climbing demands, or for heavy trucks with high climbing requirements and lower speed. In-hub motor drive integrates the motor directly with the wheel hub, providing power transmission directly to the wheels. The structure of hub motors is relatively simple with fewer components in the drive chain, offering higher efficiency. However, due to size and weight limitations, current mass-produced external rotor hub motors are typically used in large buses, commercial vehicles, and passenger buses. The key trends in light commercial vehicle e-powertrain development include the increasing adoption of transmissions, higher system integration, dedicated electric chassis, and lightweight efficiency. At Brogan, we offer a range of e-powertrain solutions that align with these industry trends, helping OEMs stay ahead of the curve and gain a competitive edge. For example, our integrated 3-in-1 system, which combines a motor, transmission, and controller, leverages shared housing, wiring harnesses, and other components to reduce weight, lower costs, and enhance efficiency. This design eliminates the need for separate wiring connections between components, significantly reducing electromagnetic interference. Regarding e-axle solutions, we provide various technical configurations tailored to commercial vehicle electrification trends, prioritizing efficiency and lightweight design. Our parallel axis e-axle already implemented in multiple LCV models, features a highly integrated drive system that optimizes chassis layout. The electric motor's high-speed rotation and compact size result in a lightweight system, reducing the overall e-powertrain weight by more than 100 kg. Additionally, with an extended oil change interval of up to 100,000 km, fleet operators benefit from lower maintenance costs and increased uptime, maximizing operational savings. Our wheel end e-axle utilizes a distributed drive system with dual high-speed motors, delivering a maximum output torque of over 8,000 newton meters. This distributed drive strategy enables independent control of each motor's speed and torque while ensuring redundancy. If one motor fails, the other continues operating normally. Our comprehensive solution also integrates essential components such as MCUs and distributed drive control units, along with advanced technologies like EASR anti-slip system, IESS intelligent electronic stability system, IRBS intelligent regenerative braking system. These innovations improve adaptability to complex terrains, enhance climbing capabilities, and ensure higher safety standards. Additionally, we incorporate hairpin winding motors and axial flux motors into our solutions to meet diverse customer needs. To learn more, you can click the link in the video description. If you are currently looking for EV solutions for your project, you can contact us at contact at broganevsolution.com. Due to high demand, we are only accepting business projects and cannot accommodate personal projects. To help us better understand your needs, please include your business information in your inquiry. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're going to share more information on the electric vehicles in the future.